people. Howdy, howdy. What's up? My name is Tyler. Welcome to the channel. So what is up guys? We are on our way to Chandler's. The Chan Man. Chan Man right now. Chan's on his way to, I gotta go to work later, but Chandler's on his way to Australia today. Wish I was going with him. I just opened up my new shop. I don't have time to get away right now. Next time Chandler goes towards the end of the year, I'm going to be coming to Australia also with him. So stay tuned for that. I'm really stoked. I'm super pumped out I'm not going this time. I need to go on some of these trips, man fucking missing out hardcore. But anyways, we're on our way over to see Chandler right now. He's going for two weeks. He just got a, um, a couple baby lace monitors that are adorable little tiny little babies. Super cute guys. Yeah, so I'm gonna have them for two weeks while he's gone. So I'm gonna make some videos just doing some enrichment stuff with them all the time while Chandler's gone. You know, these are animals that are very young. Anyways, we're gonna be at Chandler's house in a minute to pick up these monitors. So, I'll see you guys there. Here we go! Oh, don't film You're my off! Plate. Don't film my license plate, please. <laughs> Here you go, you're not in there. Nobody sees your license plate. Okay, good, I don't want people to know I drive a mom's car. No, you're good. That's, Are you gonna tell what's going car? on here? That's not your car, bro, you drive a Bentley. That's just <laughs> what you got. Yeah, right! I spent all my money on animals. Oh, little babies! Have you told them what's up? I kind of told them what's up. So, Tyler's gonna be taking care of my lace monitors while I'm gone. Yeesh. My little Bell's phase and my normal lace monitor, they're grown like weeds, and while I'm out of town, it's gonna be like nearly two weeks, and I want them to be socialized while oh, I'm yeah. gone, so that's super important. And also, we have a special special guest behind the camera. Ooh, look who Bite it is. Bite force. Boom. Bite force. You gotta Boom. come this way. Did you guys see what happened to Justin recently? Look. Fingers. We're twins. He looks. Like, he's got way more of a finger, though. He did. Ooh, I, got, I got lucky. Ouch, bro. Demonetized. Just the tip. Gnarly. Just the tip. For schnitzel. Oh man, I wish I just lost the tip. I'll lick it too. Well, you've been. You got a way cooler like, shape. <laughs> I lick no, your no, your dude. your bite from yeah, your arm. Yeah, yeah but this is way different. No, I'm not gonna do it. You'll get infected. I have a Komodo dragon's bacteria. I have a Komodo dragon's bacteria. Nasty. But anyways, yeah. All right. Maybe take care of my babies, making sure they're nice and socialized while I'm gone. Yes, sir. It's gonna be fun. You gotta cuddle them. Do it. I will. And you gotta read them all the bedtime stories about kangaroos hopping over the billabongs. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's go set these guys up. Alright, I'm going Do to Australia. It. I gotta right. go see their parents. Have fun, bro. I'll come Don't with you. Take my lizards. I'll come with you next time, Chan. You're supposed to. I know. Next time I'll be there. But I you promise. have to run your tattoo shop. No, I know. It's becoming very Soon, successful. Towards the end of the I year. End of the year, Australia, I'll be there. I promise. I promise I need to get away. <laughs> I need I need a vacation. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Sorry, had to fast forward a day. Um, so we got here yesterday, picked up the monitors from Chandler. Chandler is, ah! hey, I'm talking. Chandler's probably in Australia right now. Probably just getting there, actually. It's a long flight. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to give these guys, I set them up yesterday with Jake. I wanted to give them just like a day to acclimate. I didn't want to finish the video yesterday and startle them. You know, they're in a new environment. They were just in a new environment with Chandler. So now they're in another new environment. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to give them a little chance to cool down, not be so like, what the hell is going on? I just got put into this other tub, then I got put into this cage, then I got put back into the tub and put back, you know what I mean? It's a lot for them. They're babies. They're not used to this. So I got the cage set up for them. Got these sweet timers. The timers that I use for these cages, uh, actually Chandler uses them now too. E-T-E-K City, E-Tech City. Look it up, Amazon, they're awesome. Dude, I think it's like it's like 30 bucks for like four of these things. You just plug them into the outlet, you hook them up to your Wi-Fi. It's really easy to go on your phone and just set the time that they turn off and turn on. I don't know whoever has animal cages at home with those other timers, you gotta push the pins in, or like set this thing on the timer, do those timers are a pain in the ass. These are super easy, they're tiny, they look great, they work great, which is even better. So, I got this cage set up for them. 
Let's check out these guys first. I got some, uh, I got food defrosting in the sink for them. So hopefully they'll, uh, they'll want some food soon. But just look how beautiful this, this is a Bell's Phase Lace Monitor. Like, holy crap. This is one of my favorites also. Not only Chandler's, but this is definitely one of my favorites and I'm so jealous that he got this guy. Cause holy crap, look how cute this little guy is. They're so smart. See him looking around with his eyes and he's flicking his tongue trying to smell things, see what's going on. Such a smart little animal. Australian monitor. It's the second largest monitor in Australia. Really cool. Captive bred in the US which is why you're allowed to have them. Obviously you can't import or export anything from Australia. Where are you going? Come here. So Chandler actually got them from this guy who's been working on a breeding project for like 30 years now. Go back in your cage. I'm gonna feed you some food. Come here. Come on. Are you gonna go on me? So Chandler was able to pick up a couple. So there's this little bells phase and then there is also another normal lace monitor right here. This guy, little little dinosaur, little <laughs> looking guy. Oh man! You just spicy meatballed all over my arm, dude. You're still gonna keep going? No, don't keep pooping. Oh man, see? Typical of monitors. I don't know if you've ever watched any of my other monitor videos, but for some reason, every single time I take the monitors out of their cages, I get shit on. Every fucking time. Anyways, normal. Also, beautiful. See the stripes on him and the spots on his legs? Very cool looking animal. Go back in your cage. I gotta clean this poop off me so I can feed you guys. Let's go do that real quick. All right, so I'm gonna give them a little upgrade. Cause they're at Uncle Tyler's house right now. We're gonna put some uh, put some of this foliage in there, just some green in there, just kind of break up all this brown. Give them something to hide in, feel a little bit more secure. Put that stuff in there like that, you know. Put it all up in here. Boom, boom, boom. Just give them a nice little bush, you know. Not making it too crazy. Just kind of shoving it in there. They're gonna shit all over it. So, don't really matter. I'm just gonna stick it in there. Kind of half-assed. But, okay, that's fine. They don't care about that kind of thing. They just want it to look a little bit more natural, a little bit more comfortable for them. All right, so let's get the food and see if these guys will eat yet. Hopefully they will. I'm not sure when Chandler fed them last. I'm gonna assume it was in the last day or two. So I'm gonna offer them a couple day old pinkies and then we're gonna feed my monitors also because they're definitely hungry. So let's go get those animals. All right, so let's see if these guys are hungry at all. So today I defrosted some day old pinkies and then I got a little wrap up here for Latifa. She'll be able to scour that thing down. Normally I feed little foot fuzzies right now because he's getting bigger but I just ran out of fuzzies and I gotta wait for my guy to deliver them. So, Dale's for today. Hey guys. Also, same black tongs, tweezers, Chandler uses. Black rubber on the, on the ends. That way they're familiar, getting fed with the same instrument. You gotta leave Jake alone, he's trying to film, okay? Get out of here, go out to your perch. So anyways, black tongs. Let's see if we can get these little guys interested in food. Come here. Come over here. Check it out, look. Look, I have a little pinky for you. Would you like to, would you like to eat the pinky? He's like, oh, what is that? Oh yeah, num. Num, num, num. Oh yeah, that's nice. Thanks, Uncle Ty. Would you like another? Give you a couple? What about another one? Oh yeah. That's young. These guys are 
so cool. Modern day dinosaurs, man. So cool, man. This is the best thing besides, you know, Komodo dragon, obviously. If I could have a Komodo, trust me, we would have them. Next best thing is these guys. They get big. They'll get about six feet in length. Obviously, a lot of that is tail. But still, they still get large. Still a six foot lizard. Big foot. What's a big lizard? Get this little bell face. Hey. Hey, you. So, I know Chandler was doing the call. I totally forgot to do with that first one. But Chandler told me that he's been doing a call. You can also target train these guys and train them by name or sound like gators and other animals like that. So Chandler has been doing this little sound before he feeds them. He'll do his little and then offer him food. That way he associates that sound with you. Would you, would you like some? Would you like a little bail? Hey, Taruk, what the heck are you doing? I'm trying to feed some freaking lizards here. Are you hungry at all? You, would you like to eat? Would you like just one? Hmm? He's like, who the hell are you? You're not my dad. You haven't fed me before. You like this? Look, look at this little thing. Look, he's looking at me like, they remind me of birds. The way that they look, they like, my bird does this thing where she'll like look at you and she like turns her head up like this. They kind of do the same thing. They're like, you could tell that they're thinking. He's like, what is this large animal that is trying to feed me right now? Would you not like this? It's still the first day, so they might not want to eat right away. Or they might not want to eat from the tongs right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave a couple right on here for them. Hopefully, I'll get a little snack later. We'll just keep an eye on that. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, you, come here. What is your problem? What are you doing? I have to feed lizard, okay? I have to feed them, not you, okay? So you need to stop being a little brat. Go to your perch. All right, Latif. Let's go. Come on out. Come on. Come on. She's a crazy one. She is cray cray. Cray cray for the rats. You're crazy. Yeah. It's hard to see on this camo. You're real close. You're real close to my goods, Latif. That's literally not. I don't feel very safe right now. But that's all right. Here we go, Latifa in the wild. Come here, stop being, hey, stop it, oh, come here. She is crazy. She hasn't tried biting me in a while, so hopefully I don't get bit right now. Come here, come here, dude. Come on, man. I'm just trying to feed you. Come here. Come on. Let me put you back in your cage. Jesus. Jerk. She's giving you food. She is Miss Attitude. That's why her name is Latifa. She lives by it for sure. Man. Little foot. You're not as crazy. You're not that crazy, right? You're way cooler. Yeah, but oh, that's nice. He's like, Dad, why are you giving me these little tiny day old things. He's a real tiny. Real tiny, Dad. I'll give you a whole bunch. Play a little garbage disposal. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Ow, that was my arm. Don't bite my arm. Yeah. Put them down. Like M&Ms. They're like little flesh M&Ms. Little fleshy M's. They melt in your mouth, not in your claws. Oh, little foot. You're awesome. 
I can't wait till he's big. He's such a cool monitor. Sweet little boy. Way less crazy than Latifah. Way less scary. They're awesome. Great. It's just, it's amazing seeing the difference between hand raised animal that has been enriched since it was hatched versus Psychopath Latifah down there. He just wants to murder all the time. Okay, so now the last guy to feed is Tyson outside. We all know how that goes. He is crazy. Dude. All right, Tyson time. King asshole. He is just, he's crazy. Tyson, come on, dude. I got some, I got some chicks for you, bro. You want some chicks? Look, see them? You see? Oh god! Ah, I'm scared. Relax, bro. Look. Hey, relax, dude. Relax, bro. Just take it. Just take. I can take it. Look, look, dude. Oh my god! Wow, savage, dude. Look. What? The He's crazy. He's such a crazy, aggressive eater, bro. He is out of his goddamn mind, bro. Yeah, he's crazy. Look at him. He's like, oh yeah, give me that chick. I'm gonna whip you too. Oh, that's so dark. I'm gonna whip him. Whoa, whoa, relax, bro. Relax, dude. Jesus. Get back in your freaking cage. He's crazy. Let's try to get him to the other side for sake of filming. This. I built this cage too. You didn't watch the video for that. This cage is holding up great. It's probably, I don't know, six months old now? Seven months old? Pretty awesome. Has it warped. Easy to open the doors. This little pond is great. The whole thing is awesome. Hey, Psycho, come here. Finishing up that over there, bro. I'm gonna start target training him pretty soon. Just for the sake of him being a psycho. Because once he gets big, if he continues being that crazy when he eats, you don't wanna take a bite from that. Bad bite. It's like getting bit by a dinosaur. It's legit. The teeth are crazy. Razor sharp, big ass teeth. Not as bad as croc monitor's teeth. Actually, speaking of that, lace monitors have a very similar tooth pattern as crocodile monitors. So the lace monitor teeth, that bite is a very similar bite to a croc monitor's. But you do not want to get bit by lace monitors either. It's another really bad bite. You have crazy razor sharp hook teeth. Come on, bro. You got things to do. He's taking a sweet ass time with it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put another couple chicks right up here for him, for later. He'll smell them out and find them. Put some heads. Oh my God, look at this. It's a little chick head. Little beep, 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 beep. Just a head. Weird. I'm sure people will love that in the comments. <laughs> the hell are you doing with that chick's head, boy? All right, close this up. That's pretty much it. Oh, we still got, we still got a few of these guys left. So we're gonna go inside to the Indigo right now, feed these chicks to him, and I gotta get ready for work. So I got a busy fucking day ahead of me. All right, Indigo time. This guy, dude, he has been so feisty lately, bro. His feeding response is so crazy. Watch this. Come on. Like he has literally come launching out of the cage at me recently. Like it is gnar it is gnarly. Ooh, where is hope? Hey! Relax, dude. He's like, oh man, I'm gonna kill this thing. See how he's pushing his body against that against that chick? Here. See now he's a very aggressive eater. Indigo snakes obviously are not venomous. They are an overpowering snake. 
So instead of killing it with venom or constricting it like constrictors do, obviously, they are very aggressive fighters. So they grab the prey, push them against things, push their body against, like push it against a rock or a tree limb or something like that, and they, that's how they suffocate it. They overpower their they overpower their food. Pretty crazy. Very aggressive eater. Very sweet snake once he's out of the cage. When he's in that cage, bro, you don't want to be messing with him. So that is that. We are out of food. All the monitors are fed. Everybody's happy. Everybody's enriched. Beetlejuice is being a jerk per usual. So that's it. Just wanted to make a cool little video. Show you guys Chandler's new monitors. Go on his page. He's got an unboxing video on his page too. That's it. I got to get ready for work. This weekend, I'm actually doing a moto vlog, finally, for you guys. I got my new CRF250. I'm taking a couple days off, Saturday and Sunday. I'm going up uh, to Tampa area. We're going to go ride at Kroom. Yeah, it's a really cool off-road, trail riding, motocross riding. It's, it's a bunch of different tracks. Super dope place. I'm going to do a vlog there. My buddy also breeds Malinois. Malinois. A really tricky name to say. They're like German Shepherds. Beautiful dog. Cleans them with the police with Pasco County. They have people go out there, wear those crazy dog suits, run. They do training with the dogs. So I'm actually gonna probably do that with them. So stay tuned for that video. That'll be some really cool footage. Gonna let some dogs run and chase me and tackle me and shit. It's gonna be pretty cool. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, turn on your notifications, stay tuned. We hit 200,000 followers recently. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully we can hit a million by the end of the year. So stay tuned. Tell your friends about it. Stay safe. Be brave. All that good shit. Stay gangsta. Peace out. Bye.